Now, Jimmy, there's a lot of different formats to deal with when you're, when you're working on broadcast. You've got video coming in, HDMI, SDI, uh, components sometimes, then you've got audio on MADI, AES. Uh, Embedded audio. Embedded audio, you want to embed, you want to de-embed, and that's what this is all about. It's about getting everything into the same format and into the same place at the same time. Yeah, I, I regard this very much as a device that you use to homogenize you know, different signals into a common format. Mm -hmm. um, indeed, in broadcast, it's uh, in high-scale broadcast at least, it's not common to find a device that will accept uh, m an array of different sort of input choices and formats and frame rates mm -hmm. and so on. Um, but in order to be able to switch sort of uh, at a broadcast level, that's typically what you need to do. You mm. need to be able to switch with all your devices in a common format. So mm. that is what this guy mm. is built to do. Okay, so this is the AJA FS1X. And on the back, you've just got a swag of different connections. We've got the aforementioned composite, you know, video on analog. Yep, you've got the people with VHS down <laughs> their facilities. It can happen. Uh, we've got uh, SDI connections on BNC. We've got fiber. We've got HDMI. Then you've got audio. We've got MADI on BNC and on optical. We've got analog and AES on uh, DB9. D25. And D25. D25. D25, sorry. And you can mix and match between all of them and route anything to anything. Yeah, much. yeah. Look, the, the audio routing facilities within this are, are very flexible. And I mean, we'll talk about this first, but really that's a secondary feature. Mm. Um, you, you've got the option to uh, adjust trim on individual channels, mm. you can invert phase, you can apply delay, mm. uh, and you can pick off different channels from different uh, external inputs as well as audio that's embedded onto your video inputs such as HDMI or SDI. Mm. The primary thing this is for is really about being able to put one kind of video signal in mm -hmm. and get a different kind of video signal back out, yeah. uh, even at a different resolution or a mm -hmm. different frame rate. And um, I, I think this is something that AJ is actually quite good at. Mm. Uh, to, I guess, bring, uh, bring out uh, the backstory. I, I suppose the parent products to this, if you will, are the FS1 and FS2. And they've been around for a couple of years now. Mm. Um, and, and again, broadcast grade devices, Dual redundant power supplies in mm -hmm. this one. Uh, you can hear. It's got a cooling fan. Yep. It makes some noise. You mm -hmm. can probably hear that even as we're speaking. But typically, that's not really an issue for no. this kind of device. No. Where, where would you expect to see this? Well, it's going to be rack, rack mounted in a, in a back of house control rack somewhere. It's probably even going to be away from the main control room in, in a, say, a TV broadcast situation. Mm. And then you, what you do is you, know, you set it up. You've got your redundant power supply, so you're pretty relaxed anyway. But then you monitor it all from web. There's a, a web interface, HTML interface, that you can just look at you know, down in your control room and make, everything's, make sure everything's ticking over nicely. So. And, and more than just monitor. You can, mm. You've can. you got full control over the unit mm. from that interface. So if you are in something like a, a playout facility where you need to ingest different formats of footage, mm. uh, you do all your video routing through your router, uh, you can actually use the GPI on the back to trigger preset configurations of the device. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a couple of presets that you're always using, mm. you can save those and then recall them automatically with a contact closure from your router, which is mm. cool. Um, or if, if every conversion you do is bespoke and uh, you know different requirements each time, you just get into the web interface, dial up the settings you need, and uh, you're good to go. Yeah. So you really see this in, in, in broadcast. Did you see it coming down into uh, the more, you know, like house of worship sort of production facility? Look, I, I, I classify this very much as a, as a broadcast grade product, uh, you know, and it carries, uh, a suitable price tag, although mm. it's not as expensive as it could be. No, it's quite for, affordable for what, for what it, it is. Does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, uh, maybe not necessarily house of worship, but definitely playout facility, uh, and quite possibly outside broadcast as mm. well, because that's oh, typically where you find yourself interfacing mm. with other sources of signal. Mm. Mm. Uh, and maybe you know, if they're not all on the same platform as you are, mm. then something like this is going to be a very good bailout.